Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. It is Saturday, I'm here to San Clemente Outlet for the weekly South OC Calls and Coffee. Let's go check it out. Had a long lineup of coffee. Lamborghini Huracan repaired by, I believe, LNC stands for Laguna Niguel Collision. So, if you ever damage your exotic car, take it to these guys. They will make it look as good as new, or in this case, totally modify it to make it look different than new. And this is James's Cromero with his supercharged V8. Really nice setup, a lot of power. I mean, he, he cut the fender flares here to clear room for the supercharger. Yeah. 720 in matte black. Lamborghini Huracan. Ooh, the STO by VF Engineering. This is a limited edition Huracan and it has a supercharged V8, so supercharge. GT3 RS, I mean GT3, the new GT3, 911 Targa, and uh, wow, a shifting color Lamborghini Aventador, purple, mold, depending on how you look at it, the color changes. That's so cool. Yeah. Check out that interior. And uh, here's the engine. I can feel the heat coming off this engine. Uh, <laughs> I guess the guy just showed up. But yeah, that engine is... Uh, yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. And here's an SV. Lamborghini SV. Oh, uh, here's something interesting you might, you might notice. Uh, the engine of the Lamborghini is actually off to the left. You can tell by you look at the X-Brace. You see the X-Brace is dead center. But then if you look at the... Uh, the top of the manifold there, you see that it's actually off to the left. And the reason they moved it off to the left uh, is because you needed to clear the transmission. So that's why the engine is not center on both the Aventador and the Huracan. Audi wagon, uh, another Audi wagon. GT3. 992 GT3. Oh, cool. Baby blue and white GT3. And uh, McLaren GT. Ferrari 458 Italia. A nice Viper. Ferrari FH5 Buto. Uh, Lamborghini Huracan. V8 Vantage, Ferrari 348, Lamborghini, a Lamborghini Huracan with the uh, backup. Let's see what's, let's see that engine there. And it's a supercharged engine. And actually, since you could here, you can clearly see that the engine is shifted to the left because you can see the X-Brace is dead center. Yeah, to clear that transmission, they have to move it a little bit off center. Porsche. Another Ferrari, 488. Audi R8. And oh my god, you look at this, check out the wrap on this thing. I, I don't think it's finished. Yeah. I, I think they need to do the rest of this area. <laughs> AMG, Porsche, and oh, an SLS, AMG SLS Mercedes, the Gullwing. They've made, the Mercedes made both the uh, convertible and a Gullwing version. So uh, they were actually, when they first came out, the convertible version was more expensive than the Gullwing, but 
uh, but now on the used car market, uh, the gold wing version is worth a lot more than the convertible. Another GT3, a Ford GT, nice silver, Huracan, AMG GTC, the C for convertible, and then we have a 720S. Dogs are welcome at South OC Cars and Coffee. Porsche section. Yeah, lots of Porsches here. 718s, GT4. Oh my god, it's a Yugo. A Yugo from Yugoslavia. Oh, it is for sale. And he's asking more than the list price. <laughs> Porsche Spista. Actually, this is not an original. This is a kit. Yeah, this is a kit. It's a replica. Reproduction. But uh, as replicas go, it's nicely done. Even has the air cool engine. Tesla Model S Plaid. World's fastest production car. So fast, the bugs cannot escape. Check out this piece of history. It's a Jensen Healy. Yeah, convertible Jensen Helia. Oh, check out that engine. The Slant 4. So it's a four-cylinder inline motor, but as you can see, it's tilted or slanted. So you can see the, the Weber carburetors there, and, and the, these never caught on because, uh, well, when you slant the motor, cooling the oil makes it a little more difficult because, you know, yeah, you can figure it out. <laughs> Toyota Supra next to a Lotus. Wow, a giant wing, Evora. This is cool. And there's quite a few, it looks like a Lotus Club here. Check out this one, check out the wheels on this sucker. Oh my. Yeah, and then we have a, a green one. Nice. Let's check out the engine on these things. <laughs> the Nurburgring. ring. <laughs> oh yeah. There's the supercharger on top, you can see right there, supercharger in the cooler right on top, engines below that. And then, uh, oh, check out the aftermarket thing on this one. So, this is a Turbo 4, that's the inner cooler right there. And the inner cooler is cooled by this roof scoop. Yeah, so air gets sucked in there, goes through the, the roof, and then blows through the inner cooler. <laughs> Something else? Green steering wheel. Oh, all right. Well, yes. Only just point out the uh, carbon fiber green steering wheel to me. That's that's nice. And Lotus are great cars. That's the only problem is I can't fit them because I'm too tall. Yeah, if I go inside this, my head hits the roof. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of tall. Yeah. <laughs> that is one mean-looking SUV. Been slammed to the ground. It's got drag radios in the back and the, in the front, so it's all wheel drive and, and a Whipple supercharger. <laughs> yeah. It's cool air intake, Whipple charger, new strut mount on the top, drag radios. Yeah. This thing lives its life a quarter mile at a time. Man, check this thing out. Oh, wow. All right. Classic Chevy V8. Open fenders. I mean, yeah, you're not going to be able to see much out, out, outside, but yeah, look at the interior. Mm -hmm. Not much of a rear seat. Actually, no headroom in the back, but whatever, you know, this is meant to, I guess, look good. Uh, natural air conditioning right there. 
Actually, I don't think this thing has windows. Yeah, there's no, there, there are no windows, so no windows. It's a permanent convertible, permanent open air experience. Spargo's racing seat, various tracks, uh, removable steering wheel, you know, good anti theft device. But of course, if I take this guy's steering wheel, he won't be able to go home. She should have took it with him. Here's a good look at the Mercedes AMG V8 by Turbo or compressor as Mercedes calls it. Uh, this person added a, a cold air kit. So the air cleaners are here. Uh, you would think that there'll be a hole in the hood. So, but there's actually, as you can see, no hole in the hood. So, I mean, you're wondering what, what, what the hell, you know, no hole, why, why is it like that? So, uh, follow the plumbing here. So it gets the cold air from the front of the car. So cold air to the front of the car, to the air filter, and then back into the car. Uh, not ideal, not ideal. You should have put a hole in the hood. Whoa, ho, ho, look at this. Chevrolet 3100. Wow. Heck at that. Inline six. Single bell carburetor. Not sure what that is. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. This is awesome. Oh, look at that shifter. The, the running board. And this is on air ride, so you can see it's very slammed to the ground. Cover rear, cover rear fenders, cover the entire rear wheels. Wow. That is so cool. Custom pinstripe right there. Hand done. Right here too. Yeah, this would be my pick for car of the week. Man, this is a tight package. Wow. Air intake goes here, splits up to Y to either side. Either side, so the turbo is down there. You can't see it. And then the turbo rolls with this intercooler right here, which, uh, yeah, right here. And then rolls back up into the intake. <laughs> That is really, really tight. Yeah, the reason the exhaust is goes up that high is so, you know, this thing can water, water. Yeah, yeah. The cat thinks it's a dog. Want to make your C8 Corvette stand out? First of all, you're painted in a color that virtually nobody orders, brown. And then you, uh, you add Lambo doors to it. Yeah, that's one way to do it. And of course, don't forget the, uh, the brown wheels as well. Oh, look. In the driver's seat today, huh? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, normally you're in the passenger seat, but I guess you're, you're driving today. Hmm, check this out. Tucked away in the very end row of South OC Cars and Coffee. It should be in the front row. Orancia. Nice. Now this is an interesting family wagon. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's got, looks like, you know, made to haul the whole family around. It's got a ski rack on top, the luggage of skis, but on the inside you got Raquel's racing seat, non-adjustable, and in the back you got Raquel baby seats. Yeah, this is uh, the ultimate family wagon hauler for the husband, I guess only, I, only, I can only have one car, but I want a sports car. Yeah, this, this, this will probably do. If you're looking for a Griswold station wagon, uh, this one is for sale. Yeah, perfect for the kids sitting in the back so you can wave to the person, you know, that's behind you. Drive them crazy. 
GT3 next to an aerial atom. Ooh, check it out. This thing is ultra lightweight, ultra fast, basically just a skeleton frame. You're sitting with the elements, so you can clearly see the uh, how the suspension system here works. It's totally adjustable, so you can just make the adjustments right there. Yeah, no power steering, no power brake, no power anything in this car really, so it's uh, you really get a feel for the road. Carbon fiber fenders is a nice touch. So you can see the engine, I believe it's a Honda, Honda motor. Yeah, big wing in the back. Fuel filler cap. Again, you see the rear suspension there. Pretty cool. And this is the Urus we saw at the beginning of the video. Basically, this is uh, what represents Lamborghini now. You know, Lamborghini makes around 10,000 cars a year or so. And this car represents almost 60% of sales. So, this car outsells every other Lamborghini combined. So, when you think of Lamborghini, you think of it as a sports car company, but not anymore. This is Lamborghini. All right, so check it out. This is the new Type S NSX. This is the final NSX that will be made. So NSX production event is coming to an end and Acura decided to end it with a bang. Only 300 units will be made. Uh, little tweaks to it. Well, you know, the, the new nose is a tweak and they tweaked the engine a little bit. It's now making 600 horsepower. But otherwise than that, it's just a regular NSX, but being the final addition, you know, these are, these are sold out and, and I guess they might be worth something in the future. 720, Audi TT, and a lot of people surrounding the, the Maserati MC20. Yeah, Maserati just introduced the uh, MC20 Spider. So this is the coupe, the Spider will, will be joined by the Spider soon, but yeah, it, it is quite cool and it's considered you know, when you consider how much the uh, 720 costs or uh, the equivalent Ferrari, it's, you know, it's kind of a bargain. And this is competitor, the 992 Turbo. Yeah, so basically, the, the Porsche is faster and pretty much an overall better car than this Maserati. But, uh, you know, just look at them. This or that, right? Pure performance. Or pure sexy. It's a G-Wagon, not just a regular Mercedes G-Wagon, but it's a Barbus G-Wagon. See, no three-point star, that's a B for Barbus. Yeah, Barbus is a, a modifier of Mercedes-Benz. They, I guess they took over after AMG sold themselves to Mercedes. So if you want a modified Mercedes that's even a higher level than AMG, yeah, this is it. This is what you do, the Barbus The Barbus Mercedes G63. Yeah, this thing is totally done out. Ultimate G Wagon. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you with the most modded Tesla in the world, as far as I can tell. I mean, this, this is a cool Model 3. It's got pretty much every mod you can imagine. Yeah, so fender flares slammed to the ground, new wheels, carbon wheels, uh, yeah, carbon discs, the door. <laughs> it's a 101, new interior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, Porsche GT3 front clip. Looks like a GT3, yeah. yeah. Pretty nuts. Oh, got something new this time? Fenders. Oh, yeah, okay. You added the fender louvers. We didn't see that last time. Yeah, okay. So last week had no fender louvers. This week it did. <laughs> so the mods continue on the most modified Model 3 ever. Yeah. So this is South OC Calls and Coffee. It happens every Saturday from 9 to 11 here at the San Clemente Outlet if you're a car enthusiast or motorcycle enthusiast even. Uh, this is where 
you want to be on a Saturday morning. SeanShelfAndJohnShell.com. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a like and share. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.